Today we'll show you how to make a flashlight for a power tool battery. Previously I made this flashlight using the 10 watt 12 volts LED, but that requires a modification to the battery and turn it into a 12 volt pack instead of a 24 volt pack. So I cannot use this for my power tool or charge it using the original charger. Today I will add an LED flashlight to this battery pack without modifying it. That means I can still use it normally to run my tool and I can still use the original charger to charge it. Let's get started. So I've got this extra LED bulb that I have no use for. It's just a regular LED light bulb that runs on 110 volt AC. It looks pretty nice. Looking from the outside it seems to have a square LED inside it. I was curious to see what's inside so I decided to tear it down. Using just a couple pair of pliers I just twist it and it will track open. The LED inside is actually a square. On the LED itself it says 94V. I've never seen anything like this before. That even makes me more curious because it's just a small LED to run on such a high voltage. I mean 94 volts, right? So I decided to pull out my suicide cord and test it out. Please don't try this at home. It turns out the LED runs at only 24 volts DC and not 94 volts as printed on it. So maybe it's something else, maybe, maybe a part number or something. Then I suddenly have a eureka moment. Because the LED runs on 24 volts DC, maybe I can run it using my Cobalt 24 volt power tool battery. So I pull out my battery and voila, it works. For this project, I only need an on off switch and a 3 ohm resistor and that's it. The reason why I choose this switch is because it's like a surface mount chip. You can mount this anywhere on any surface without drilling any holes. I bought this on eBay for very cheap. The LED runs on 24 volts, but this battery pack is 25.2 volts at full charge. So I decided to add a small resistor to limit the current just a little bit to protect the LED from overheating. It's just a 3 ohm resistor. At first I want to use a bigger resistor because it can handle more current. But it doesn't fit inside the battery, so I have to change to a small resistor and it works just fine. For the light bulb, I use the entire top part except the base. The base is plastic and it contains the LED driver. The top part of the LED is aluminum so it serves both as a housing and a heat sink for the LED. Alright, I think I'm done. Let me show you what I got here. So that's the LED. Got a couple of wires coming out through the hole. And the negative wire goes straight to the negative terminal of the battery. So the red wire, positive wire, goes through the 3 ohm resistor to the switch. And then on the other side of the switch, go to the positive terminal. And that's it. The way I mount the switch is I just use double sided tape and that's it, pretty simple. Now we just close this cover and I just put the screws back on. Let's try this. beautiful lights fit in just fine
the cool thing about this is while the light is on the back of the battery and when you install it in your tool it's actually on the front so when you hold your tool like this the light is actually shining forward instead of backward so that's pretty cool now let's try and see if it still works on the charger see if it still fits there we go fits in just fine it's not charging because my battery is full but there we go there's still a lot of room for clearance I'm going to install this on a small compact battery pack but this also works for a bigger extended capacity battery pack for this model the top part is exactly the same and I only mount this on the blue plastic part so it should also work if I mount it right here All right. Let's just give it a try. Just have something to compare with. I have my 10 watt LED. This one I made earlier and this is 12 volts. This is 24 volts. Let me turn off the light on the top here. Now first let's try the 12 volts LED. It's the one on the left. Pretty bright. Now let's try the one on the right, which is the 24 volt LED. I would say it's a little bit brighter, but the beam is a narrower. It's a pretty narrow because of the design of the, uh, the light bulb works just like a flashlight and is very bright It does get warm, but uh, not hot at all. Uh, 36 degrees Celsius. Check this out. Flashlight on the flashlight. Dual flashlight. Let's turn up the light here, see what we got. This is one light. Let's try a dual flashlight. This cobalt's got a LED that uh, has a bright spot right in the center. You can see there. Not pretty good. This one, the light is more even. See the bright spot right in the center. But uh, I would say the 24 volt LED is a little bit brighter than the, uh, the cobalt LED. Dual flashlight. Pretty cool. Huh? Here's my final thought on this project. The question is, do you actually need to have this light bulb for this project? And the answer is no, you don't. You can use any 24 volt LED and it will work just as well as this LED here. The reason why I use this LED is because it's just something lying around and I don't even have a use for. I went on eBay and found quite a few different 24 volt LED you can use for this project. 
The only real difference is that I can salvage the entire top part of this light bulb and therefore it looks pretty nice like a real light bulb. Well, actually it's a real light bulb. And also it has an aluminum case that acts as a heat sink. So I'm killing two birds with one stone here. If you install a bare LED on this battery, you need to mount an extra heat sink for it because without the heat sink, it will get hot and melt your plastic battery cover. And that's all for now. I'll see you in the next video.